I'm interested to see how aggressive Delta Force is willing to play because sometimes old players, y'all don't play like you want to win. Sometimes you aren't willing to do the dirty, grimy stuff. And I want to see Delta Force play like a coward and wall him out the whole game. Look, we know what game we play. We got to lean all the way into it. There's no other way. However, at the same time, I mean, she's... This character's got some nonsense. You got to be careful. That is true. DDD's got some things, especially when we're talking about Link, a character with a pretty mid recovery. Oh no! You could die at zero. What just happened to Delta Force? Uh, he got deleted. <laughs> he won. He won the round two there. I respect it, Cheese. Oh, 100%. But you know what? Now, as he's trying to get revenge, Delta Force has to heat up a little bit if he wants to go ahead and shut it down. Yes, he does. Gonna have to play off the back foot. However, if you look at the damage, he's only received about 35 damage this entire game. So he can absolutely bring this back. And that's step one. That is definitely step one. And now just placing the bomb knights at mid-range. Love that boomerang. Either way, you force Cheese to move out of the way and go a little bit higher. Otherwise, he's gonna get hit by that. So, boom. Swallow trying to pick up another little cheeky stock here. Maybe that's the reason why his name is Cheese. Yeah, you know, you know he's going for it. I've seen that suck come out a couple of times. Who knows what's going to happen with it later in this set, but so far he's one and one, so we'll we'll see how it goes. Either way, though, one thing that I think will be very frustrating for Delta Force in this matchup is it's so hard to kill DDD. He doesn't have anything really oppressive off the side with Link, and killing off the top, fun fact about DDD, because he's both a super heavy and a fast faller, he is the hardest character in the game to kill off the top. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you know what? Don't matter. That fair gonna come through and seal out the stock. That is one of the tools that I expect to see used to seal out some stocks off the side from Delta. But you know what? Right now, we're gonna start seeing some of the combo game come through. Look at that. The up air pressure and everything trying to frame trap him. Great timing from Delta Force on that Nair, able to make it safe, use the spot dodge, and get so much damage off the punish! My man mm. just ran out there, did the raw up B, and there was no answer to be had. Yep, just send him off at the side. We ain't playing no games any longer. There's a reason why he beat you in that set in Winner's Side. Delta doing a great job to go ahead and show off what can be done with Link. At the same time though, Cheese clearly no slouch to get this far into the tournament. It is not over yet. We've seen a lot of back and forth in this top eight and in this tournament in general so far. So mm -hmm. doubters don't count him out just yet. I believe in my man. Yes, sir. That is the thing, Cheese. He didn't just tear through those amazing players like Lemon T, Rutsky Nerd, and Jukane to just get shut out here. He's got a shot, and look at that. Boom, Nair up tilt. Apply a little bit of combo game, but you know what? One good whip and Delta putting you back into your spot here. I feel like that's the big difference here. Delta has been getting so much more off of the individual openings than Cheese has been able to. Yeah, that that's just kind of the nature of playing DDD. You're pretty heavy, you're pretty big fast faller. And so it's gonna be a hard time when you get locked into some of these combos. Absolutely. DDD is a war of attrition kind of character. However, at the moment, Delta Force has been doing a good job of uh, just barely eking ahead in that game time and time again. However, at the moment, slight deficit for the first time in the set. Yes, sir. Look at this. Trying to execute a kill there and Delta Force unable to seal out the stock from that upbeat. That is another... Ooh! Bro, all right. Just, you know, kick him out. Why not? The number of different ways Delta Force is able to kill consistently. That's such a threat that he always has on deck because he's not just looking for one kill confirmed. He's got like eight different options that he uses. Yeah, it is wonderful to see the creativity coming through. And that's kind of what you get when not a lot of players play your character. You have to be the one to push it. Boom, landing there. Gets the grab, too. Love to see the... Okay. Bro really wanted to end him just like game one. Unable to find it this time, though. Yeah, getting a little spicy there now. Cheese in center stage. What can you do with that? Oh, no, he's safe. 
That was kind of a, I think a miss input coming out from Cheese and then canceling the up B as well. Just the whole thing really weird. But now manages in the end somehow after all of that to get advantage off of it. Oh, Ooh, what I love the aggression. Out. Bro, almost putting him into the dirt and hold up. I love the juggle attempt there, but Delta just barely getting by by the skin of his teeth. Yeah, the timing was just barely off from Cheese, but he's going for round number two. No frame trap on that up air, back air. Delta Force able to land in the time and now punishing with the up B out of shield. The classic kill confirmed from Link. Yep, beautifully done. And now Delta Force, this is his chance to go ahead and be the teacher's pet. Get a little bit of extra cred. 26 to his name already. And the shield pressure and the cross up just wasn't enough. Yeah, he may be getting that extra credit, but this is more of a mental test. If you ask me, can he continue to play his game and not let Cheese bring out that sweet Gouda to close out the stock like we saw in that game one? Yes, sir. He's got a shot, but he's got to do it quick because Delta is feeling pretty good. Look at that Nair to get on through. That Nair is an amazing priority move, and it has been coming through for Delta. But you know what? Cheese going ahead, putting him back on the back foot, and now 60%. Hold up. Cheese is feeling good, Lentini. Yeah, he is cooking right now. That cheese starting to melt right into the crust, but you got to be careful because as soon as you do something unsafe, Delta is always there to punish you with those aerials. Yes, sir. Yes, corner. sir. Ooh, Ooh, bomb in the sky. Yes, sir. Don't you be stalling. He's got that bomb and he's ready to snipe you out. Man, what a close game number two. Cheese versus Delta Force. Fantastic match. Unfortunate that they had to have a double elimination there. And Cheese gonna, it may be September, but we got a bit of a March of the Penguins going on right now. Back into uh, next week's uh, Fusion 172. Hopefully we'll see him. Maybe, maybe, better luck, better luck next time. But you know what? Shout out to Delta Force, getting on through, played absolutely immaculate. I love that tech chase. That tech chase was so clean to get that stock. It and, really uh, was. Little bit of an update on the other side of bracket, by the way. Marcus did beat out Haven 2-1 to move on to loser's semis. Okay. Mm-hmm. So our top four. So that four, means we're going to have Delta Force Marcus on loser's semis. Yep. We got Delta Force Marcus. And then, of course, Jackal and Beast chilling up in the winner's finals right now. So looking like a pretty fun event. Got some uh, got some link up in there. Of course, you got that Game & Watch still coming through, which, you know what? He, look, it, it's weird. Game & Watch could either be very boring or very entertaining. And it's just about how cheesy you get. Because Marcus just randomly pulling the... The judgments? Yeah. I, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> well, my man need to be a DDD player with how much cheese he tries to pull out. I yes, always sir. love watching him, especially the use of that judgment hammer. Didn't work out too well for him today. Yeah, it, came, came, uh, it came close. Gotta balance things out after how things went a couple weeks ago. I will never forget. It was it was like three nines in a row, and then he did it like four more times. And two out of those four were also nine. He burned all of his good luck last week. He's got to he's got to go back to the lab and just burn the bad luck right now. Hit a bunch of ones, you yeah. know. <laughs>